Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Operations Research. This is lecture number 7.1 in the module 7 Queuing Model. The topic for uh, today's discussion Queuing Model, the designation of Queuing Model, Equation of Properties and the Problem Solving in the first model. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture the student will be able to solve able to explain the queuing model write the equations in the queuing model properties and uh, solve the problem in the queuing model so these are all different uh, queuing system queues in our day to day life so first uh, you may find a long queue in front of an office some office here, so there is a long queue and uh, we form a queue in front of ATM machine of a bank and uh, we find multiple queues in the cinema theatre to get the ticket and uh, here you find the queue formation in the entry to the train unreserved compartment. In the unreserved compartment people are entering by forming a queue and this is the airport where you find a queue to collect the ticket or to check into the airplane and here you find a queue in the departmental store. Here again we find a queue here, multiple queues are here in front of the computers to booking for the train ticket to find the train ticket and here you find the car forming a queue for a particular service and here there are multiple jobs are available for operation to put the component into the machine for operation and these are all waiting. So in our day to day life queue is unavoidable. So, we, we are in the queue for some reasons for booking a ticket to take a money from ATM machine to book a ticket in the cinema theater or train ticket and to in the department store to purchase something. So, in all the queue we are standing in front of the queue for certain service. We expect some service from the system for the service we are forming the queue. So, the people are standing in the queue that is one side. Another side the job is waiting in the queue for a particular operation. So, either the job or the people they are waiting in the queue for a particular process or particular service. So, this is the general layout of your queuing system we have the service facilities and we, the customers are arriving, people are arriving, customer it may be people or job they are arriving here and they form a queue or waiting line and the people they are directed to a particular service facility. So, we have three facilities here and after completion of a particular service the served customer is leaving. You can, you can consider the model for a job for example some job is entering waiting here in a queue it goes to the particular machine for example it is going to the lathe there are three different lathes where the job is going to a particular lathe it undergoes at an operation and uh, the finished product is leaving that is what the served customer it is leaving the system why there is a queue so, queuing or waiting line will be formed in two situations. First situation, too many service facilities. Here number of customers or job entering the system will be provided service immediately. So, we may find that the service facility is idle for some time. So, the service facility is waiting for arrival of the customer. So, service facility is also waiting for the arrival of the customer. That is one so, the service facility is waiting. The second, two less facility. 
you have shortage of facilities, small number of facilities. So here the customer or the job has to wait in the queue because of limited service facilities. So when the service facility is excess, the service facility will be waiting for the uh, customer arrival of the customer. So if you have lesser number of service facility, the job or the customer will be waiting for the service. So whatever, uh, in both the situation, there will be queue formation. So what are the elements of the queuing model? So when you have a queuing model, what are all the various elements, various uh, uh, parameters in the queuing model? So arrival distribution, service distribution, service channel, service discipline, queue size, calling source, customer behavior. So these are all the certain characteristics or elements of the, the queuing model. So we will see one by one. Arrival distribution. The job or a person entering the system is known as customer to the system. So, person or the job entering, it is called a customer. The customer entry to the system given by arrival distribution. The arrival of the customer defined by the arrival rate. That is the number of customers entering per unit time. That is what the arrival rate. The customer enters the system in a regular interval of time or at irregular interval of time or at a random manner. So, there are three different methods. So, you may have continuous flow of customer right, at a constant rate with a regular time interval at a, maybe throughout the day, certain, certain queuing system. In certain queuing system, in the morning time there will be huge crowd, in the evening time there will be huge crowd, but during the day time, so the number of customers visiting will be less. So it is irregular interval of time. So visiting customer throughout the day, but the irregular interval of time. Sometimes the customers are random in manner. Say for example, in a jewelry shop, the customers are random. Very rarely people are coming. In the case of cloth store, there will be frequent visit of customer. Regular interval, regular interval, the customers are coming. So depending on the service, Depending on the uh, the uh, service provided by the system, the queue, the formation of queue may be different. Most of the queuing, the arrival is random. In most of the queuing system, queuing problem, the arrival is random. If the random arrival is there, the probability distribution of arrival will be given. So when the Poisson's distribution, here we are using Poisson's distribution to describe the arrival distribution. So, Poisson's method, Poisson's distribution equation is used to, to describe the arrival of the customer to the system. So, the probability of n arrivals at a time t is given by lambda t to the power n into e to the power lambda t by n factorial where n is the number of customers, t is the time and lambda is the mean arrival rate. So, mean arrival rate is calculated from the, uh, the previous history. So, previous history of based on the data, previous history data, uh, customer arrival data. So, we calculate the mean arrival rate. Then service distribution. So, the service distribution describes the pattern by which the service is provided and the customer to the customer or the pattern by which the customer is leaving the system. So, what is the time taken for a particular service? So, after the service, the customer will be leaving the system. So, the pattern in which the customer is leaving the system is called a service distribution and the departure of customer depends on the service rate. So, service rate is defined as the number of customers leaving the system per unit time. So, arrival rate, service rate, these are all the two important parameters. And the service time may be constant, variable or time or random. So, here again depending on the type of service provided to the customer, it may be constant time, variable time or random time. In the random service time, the probability distribution will be given. So the here, here again, we, are, we use the Poisson distribution is used to describe the service distribution and the probability of n complete services in time t is given by mu t to the power n into e to the power mi minus mu t divided by n factorial where mu is the mean service rate. So mean service rate once again, it is obtained from the previous data. So, from the previous data, we calculate, we find the mean service rate. Then service channel. So, 
So, the queuing system may be single channel system in which there is only one server or multi channel system in which there are more number of servers. Uh, for example, uh, in the case of a ATM machine, it is considered a single channel system. You take a barber shop where you may find two or three chairs, it is multi channel system. Or you take the reservation counter, railway, railway reservation counter, you may find three counters, so it is a multi channel system. So, depending on the service number of service system, service provided, it is, it is called as number of channels. And the service discipline, how the service is provided, in what pattern the customers are served, the service discipline describes the way in which the customer is selected from the queue for service. The different size service disciplines are first come first served basis, FS, FCFS, last come first served basis, LCFS, service in random order, SIRO, general service discipline, GD. So, majority of the cases we use first come first served method as a service discipline and the queue size. The queue size is given by the maximum number of customers in the system. So, this may be finite or infinite. So, the queue size sometimes, so it is it is finite number of customers per day or uh, per season or infinite number of customers per day or the per season. That is the queue size and the calling population. So, total population, total the calling source or population of the customer in the queuing system is may be again finite or infinite. So, these are all the different uh, properties and the customer behavior, how the customer is behaving in the queuing system. The customer behavior may be jockeying, balking, reneging. So, jockeying, moving from one queue to another queue in the hope of reducing the waiting time. So, this may happen uh, in the in the uh, railway reservation counter or the uh, highway uh, toll booth. So, in the highway toll booth also this may happen. So, people the cars are moving from one one counter to another counter uh, to minimize the waiting time, hoping to minimize the waiting time. Balking, customer desire not to join in the queue because they, they anticipate long delay. So, they come to the system for service, come to the system queue, uh, I mean system for a particular service and uh, by finding more number of customers waiting. So, they assume that it may take long time and they do not join in the queue that is called as balking. Reneging, customer leave the queue if they have waited too long for the service. So, they join the queue waiting for a, waiting for such a long time, for long time then they decide to leave that is called as reneging. So, jockeying, moving from one queue to another queue, balking, just looking at the system, uh, assuming that the, it will take more time, they do not join the queue and the reneging, join the queue, wait for some time and then leaving the queue. These are all the three types of behavior in the, uh, three types of customer behavior in the system. And uh, there is a representation, how the model, queuing model is represented and the, the representation is proposed by D. G. Kendall and A. Lee. So, this is also called as designation of queuing system. We write in this fashion. So, we open bracket A slash B slash C, then close bracket colon, again open bracket B slash E slash F, close bracket. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, these are all the, um, this is the method of writing a particular queuing system. Here A stands for arrival distribution. So, for Poisson distribution, we write M. B stands for service distribution. Here again for Poisson distribution, we write M and the C stands for service channel. So, this may be single channel or multi channel. So, single channel 1, uh, multi channel 2 or 3. So, depending on the number of channels and D stands for service discipline. So, F S F S F uh, I mean first come first serve, last come first serve, uh, whatever may be the discipline, we have to write the service discipline and the E stands for the maximum number of customers allowed in the system. This may be infinity or n, n number of customers or infinite number of finite or infinite. Similarly, and the f is the calling source or the population. So, this is again it may be finite or infinite. So, first a, normally we use m is the uh, letter for a in the place of a for Poisson distribution. In the place of b, we use m again for Poisson service distribution multiple channel, if it is a single channel, we write 1, if it is multi channel, we write number of channels 2, 3 like that 
and D stands for the service discipline. So first come first serve, last come first serve. General, I mean uh, S I R O like that we write. And E stands for E. E it may be infinite or finite. And the F is also it may be infinite or finite. So this is the methodology by which we write the designate the queuing system. And this is the model number one. So we have M slash M slash one, F C F S. Slash infinity slash infinity. That means Poisson arrival. So we have Poisson arrival and distribution. So service for Poisson arrival and distribution single channel model. It is first come first serve model. First come first service model with the infinite number of customers allowed and the infinite population. Okay. So this is the Poisson arrival and service distribution single channel. First come first F C F S stands for first come first serve. Infinity stands for infinite number of customers are allowed, and another infinity stands for infinite population is available for the system. Now the various characteristics. First the probability that the channel is busy. So rho equal to lambda by mu, where lambda is the mean arrival rate and the mu is the mean service rate. Then it is also known as traffic intensity. So rho is uh, either the probability or traffic intensity lambda by mu. Then probability that the system is empty. So when there is no customer, what is the probability that the system is totally empty without any customer? So P O equal to one minus rho, which is one minus lambda by mu. Steady state probability of n customer in the system. So what is the probability that the n customer in the system P n equal to lambda by mu to the power n into one minus lambda by mu, and the expected number of customers in the system that is waiting line. So both customers available in the waiting line and the inside the service. So in the uh, service facility. So L s equal to lambda by mu minus lambda, and the expected number of customers in the queue. So that is equal to L q equal to lambda square by Mu into mu minus lambda. Then expected time per customer in the system W S equal to one by mu minus lambda, and expected time per customer in the queue W Q equal to lambda by mu into mu minus lambda, and the average length of non-empty queue, length of the queue that uh, formed from time to time that is what that is called as non-empty queue. So L N equal to mu by mu minus lambda. And the average waiting time in the non-empty queue, W n equal to one by mu minus lambda. So these are all the characteristics of the uh, first model. So the first model is Poisson distribution, single channel Poisson distribution uh, for arrival and uh, service discipline, F C F S system of uh, service discipline, and infinite number of customer allowed and infinite population. And we take one uh, first example, example number one. A TV repairman finds that the time spent on his job has an exponential distribution with a mean of 30 minutes. If the repairs repair uh, if if the repair sets in the order in which they come come in, and if the arrival set arrival of the sets is approximately poison with an average of 10 per 8 hours day, what is the repairman's expected idle time on each day? How many jobs are ahead of the average set just brought in? So here we are given service rate. So the service rate is so the TV repairman finds the time spent. How, what is the time spent by the service the TV repairman on a particular job with a mean of 30 minutes? So 30 minutes he is taking 30 minutes to, to repair a particular TV set. So mu equal to 1 by 30, which is 0.0033 units per minute. So how many units he is servicing? 0.0033 units per minute. And the arrival rate. So, it, what is arrival? Eight units are arriving per eight hours day. So, lambda equal to ten. Sorry, ten units are ten units are arriving in a eight hours day. So, ten divided by eighteen into eight into sixty equal to point zero two zero eight units per minute. Now, we have to calculate number of jobs are ahead of average set just brought in. That is equal. That is what uh, the meaning is. Average number of units in the system. So average number of TV uh, set in the system. So this L S equal to lambda by mu minus lambda equal to 0.0208 divided by 0.033 minus 0.0208 equal to 1.664. So there are 
1.664 units of PV uh, it is available in the system that is both in the service condition and waiting for service and uh, the expected idle time for the repairman on each day is equal to 8 hours here he is working so 8 into 1 minus rho so 8 into 1 minus lambda by mu equal to 8 into 1 minus 0 0.0208 divided by 0 0.033 that is equal to 3 hours in a 8 hours uh, working day he is 3 hours he is idle that is what the expected idle time for this kind of lambda and mu value so the properties depends on arrival rate and the service rate we take another example example number 2 in a reservation counter with a single server the customer arrive with a interval time as the exponential distribution with a mean of 10 minutes the service time is also assumed to be exponential with a mean of 8 minutes so find one the idle time of the server second the average length of the queue third expected time that the customer spends in the system so here again service rate first we calculate the service rate mu equal to so the uh, service rate is given here the service time is assumed to be mean of 8 minutes so for each service they take 8 minutes so the service rate equal to 1 by 8 equal to 0 0.125 customers per minute and arrival rate so 10 minutes so the exponential with the mean of 10 minutes so lambda equal to 1 by 10 equal to 0 0.1 customer per minute so the arrival rate is 0 0.1 customers per minute and the service rate is 0 0.0125 customers per minute and the first question the idle time of the server so it is 1 minus rho which is 1 minus lambda by mu equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.125 equal to 0 0.2 so the idle time is 0 0.2 minutes that is the idle time in the total uh, hour total time in terms of minutes then average length of the queue lq equal to lambda square by mu into mu minus lambda which is 0 0.1 square divided by 0. 125 multiplied by 0 0.125 minus 0 0.1 equal to 3.2. So, 3.2 customers are waiting in the queue. And the expected time that the customer spends in the time that is WS equal to 1 by mu minus lambda which is 1 by 0 0.125 minus 0 0.1 that is equal to 40 minutes. So, each customer is spending 40 minutes in the system. So, these are all the answers to the question. right? So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you may find the operation research book. You can refer to the book for additional uh, information on the queuing model. And uh, I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel. Use the videos for your better learning. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. Uh, you can contact me through my WhatsApp number or mail ID for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with additional problems in the queuing model uh, in the next lecture. Until then, bye-bye.